Hi everyone, it's Brenda. I'm here to do a quick share with you guys. I have been busy um, crocheting away since my daughter's birthday. Is this month I wanted to make sure I got some items done. Um, this actually may, I don't know if this will air before or after her birthday. I'm not quite sure. But I made one for my son as well. So this way I have it on hand. And this is just a like dragon um I'll show you this one. This one's already pretty much closed. So it has drawstring ties. And they're dragon scales. Or it's a crocodile stitch. But I made it because they like playing um, Dungeon and Dragons. So I made my daughter two. She got this green one. I put some beads here on the end. And she got also this blue one. And they're all the same pattern, just different yarns. And this one has her orange and white beads on it. And these work out fairly quickly. I could get a bunch of these done. They hold a good deal. Um, they could hold more than that. They're great little jewelry pouches too. These make fantastic gifts. Um, but to get back to my son's, this one is in autumn leaves. And it pulls tight too. And I put a little loop on the back so that they can hook it onto a carbine clip. Or onto um, their uh, to the belt loop or keychain or their backpacks because they're both in college um, but I love how this turned out all three of them actually and this one is actually done out of some really nice Barocco cotton that I had gotten from Ampex thank you so much Ampex she's Ampex Creations here on YouTube if I remember I will link to her below make sure you check her out she has some amazing videos and she's the sweetest person ever um, but I made one out of that and then this is just some uh, leftover yarn I'm trying to think um, it's super soft I think it's a Bernat but I'm not sure um, it was just some leftovers that um, my daughter had from a shawl that she actually had made for Halloween her Halloween costume but I really love how these came out um, I think they're super cute like I said they're perfect for gift giving and they hold, I mean, they can hold a good amount here. Oh, can you hear that? We have a bee in the house. <laughs> um, but they do hold a good amount, so if you want to put some chocolates in there, something for Easter, these would be cute little things. Um, you can even hide your Easter eggs in it for the kids, so they get a nice little pouch with it. And that would be a cute way, um, if anyone's proposing, um, if there's any guys watching, you could put your Easter egg in there with the ring or your even your little ring box that would be adorable anyway there's so many ideas there so you uh useful for so many different things but i just wanted to see i love how these came out and they're super super fun to make but thank you for joining me guys uh, i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day bye